guys. How are you doing? Hope you're all fine. Welcome back to my channel, Devashree's Passion. Guys, I hope you will remember that I had started my own story, The Missing Brooch. It is an adventure story for kids like you and me. We had stopped at chapter 14, Magical Surprises. If you guys haven't seen it, then the link is given in the description box. Guys, today we are seeing chapter 15, Away on Another Adventure. In the previous chapter, we had seen that there was a magical surprise when suddenly Yvette's gown put up a small tornado like water and scooped up some paper leaves and water lotuses from Lizzie's hand. And Yvette said that it was from her collection in which a crystal bird which was duff also appeared there on the scene that has been missing from Yvette's collection. And today we are seeing chapter 15 away on another adventure. So let us start it now. Dhruv was the thief. That was clear. But the kids and Yvette including Pur were really wondering that why he was so quiet. The whole time there had been tornadoes and trees coming up and crystal birds flying here and there. Joy in Yvette's heart. But no, Thru was silent. Mysteriously and suspiciously silent. And that's when fluff, he disappeared. Again, there was a disappearance. Yvette noticed some footprints leading to the door. Oh, there were Dhruv's footprints again. Remember guys, there, there were Dhruv's footprints, the thief's footprints everywhere. The kids went. Yvette examined them and quickly said, Huh, kids, you wait here with Pur and Lizzie while I go to check out where is Dhruv. And so Yvette slipped out of the room. Meanwhile, the kids and Pur were eagerly waiting to know where was Thruv. After a minute or two, Yvette came in and was extremely changed. Now she was pretty, really pretty, as a small tornado-like water had rose from her hair and gown. And there was a merry little smile on her face. Lizzie and Yvette exchanged mysterious and secretive looks. Yvette then piped up saying, Hey, I know where Thruv is. I had gone to check out where the footprints were leading to and I saw that they had been leading up to the sky, into the water. And I, I am sure that Yvette, that Thruv has gone to steal. Again, Lizzie added a worried tone to has gone to smuggle underwater treasure. He does that all the time. That's how he got those moonstones there. But we must get, forbid him from stealing the treasures because they belong to my mermaid friends. The kids were really shocked to hear the word mermaid. They thought they were out of lynch end. They were a myth, but no, they were real. Lizzie said, Ah, you must be wondering, how can Thruv be stopped? He is actually invincible. Well, he can only turn into a good man, into his former self, past self, only if you get a moringlet sing for him. You know that moringlet are underwater birds that live within corals. Why do they live within coral reefs? That's because they are always wandering about and anxious and not ready to be eaten up by a shark or whale or something. And so they have bright colored feathers that match with the corals in the coral reef. That's why they mostly stay in the 
coral reefs. It's really, really hard to find them as they are super rare. Only three in this whole planet Earth. The kids were again shocked, but Pearl was secretly happy. You know why? Because Pearl likes to swim. But they weren't going there by swimming. Lizzie said, I must whistle and summon my mermaid friends. She gave a sharp whistle and Yvette did too. She also gave a sharp whistle that really made the children jump out of their skin. Wow, so spooky. But nothing to fear about. They immediately lined up together. What did? The jewels lined up together. And immediately water burst out from them as they cracked up. And they joined back together again as mermaids appeared. Thousands and hundreds of mermaids. And then they started to swim and sing also. Wow, there were so many. It was a funny, so, so funny that mermaids could live on land as the waters had vanished. They were resting on the jewels and rocks lying around. But the room was overflowing with mermaids. So they had to stay on the chandeliers on the ceiling. But there were so, so many of them. When the children tried to calculate how many boys or girls were there, they just fell asleep. Oh my God, so impossible counting. So guys, this is where chapter 15, Away on Another Adventure, ends. We shall meet with chapter 16 the next time we meet. Meanwhile, you guys enjoy my other videos. If you like this story and want to hear more stories like this, adventure stories full of mysteries, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel, Devashree's Passion. For more such amazing videos of my passions, the links to my videos are given in the description box. Tap at the bell icon for all notifications about my channel. Bye guys, meet you later. Bye.